across my, my incredibly large country, across your incredibly large country, and seeing things and meeting people that I would never be able to see and meet otherwise uh, because of this job. It's the greatest gift I think this business has given me, is the gift of travel. And it could be anything from, I mean, a hold the wall truck stop on the way to uh, the Canadian border to get a pack of turkey jerky and uh, a <laughs> souvenir shot glass and one of those uh, camouflage t-shirts with, you know, the wolves uh, howling on them, you know, those, uh, yeah. <laughs> Or a I Love Vancouver t-shirt. Sure, why not? Oh, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. I shall sleep in it always. <laughs> um, might be a little short, though. I like to get the sleeper shirt, too. The XXXXXL. <laughs> you know, like, you know, like, make me feel like a hoo girl from Dr. Seuss. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? <laughs> no, not Alex, not sexy, trust me. Um, oh yes, oh yeah, travel, travel. Um, so, um, but the people that I've been able to meet, I've been able to eat, eat, uh, eat, eat, <laughs> eat, 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 Just, for an slip, I eat plenty of people. It's where I get my strength from. <laughs> Cannibalism. Uh, I've been president of the Prime Minister of the Royalty. Still to this day, the great honor for me uh, is, is meeting the incredible servicemen and women who come back from overseas who are fighting a very, very different battle in their own country. And in the States, we have some wonderful uh, organizations as, as do you here in Canada, but we, you know, to be able to visit places like Walter Reed in D.C. and Bethesda in Virginia, and you meet these young men and women, I'm pipe dreaming that I'm young at 30, and you see that they were 9, 10 years old when this war started, and you see the physical injuries, and then you see the stress, the stress injuries as well that people don't talk about as much, and you become very humbled by that, and I, uh, I went home immediately and wrote this song based on the stories that I heard from, uh, from those soldiers, and um, it's the quickest song I've ever written, I think, and I wrote it for them. This is called The War at Home. Thank mm -hmm. you.